Hey guys, welcome back to Northside News. We are back in full swing this week. I know things were kind of crazy after homecoming week, but I am excited to be back with you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed your long weekend. We had Friday off due to a teacher development day, which was nice because it gave all the students a little break. enjoyed homecoming week it was so much fun if you guys want to see any pictures or videos from homecoming make sure to check out the website or I know it's on Twitter I don't know about you guys but I am pretty excited for the school year we have lots of changes happening and I can't wait to see how it all plays out our new principal dr. Hostetler has lots of new ways and changes for us to come together as one as a school so far everything seems to be turning out great I know there's gonna be lots of fun changes happening around school and I know you guys should keep an eye out for him all the consequences to bad actions will be known and are getting voiced in a better way this year. We are trying to clean up loose ends, as is known from last year, and start off better this year. This way, students will understand consequences to their actions and will know how everything will turn out. Hopefully, this will help our school get better. So far, he's making the environment great. He's coming to a lot of the sporting events. I know I've specifically seen him at some of my tennis matches. He was all the way out at Troy last week, and I just, I think it's awesome that we have that extra support there to show that we are trying to be one and we are trying to be a community. With all the miscommunication last year, we were hoping to have a better learning environment for everybody. A good start off to this year was HOSA raising over $2,000 for the American Heart Association. They held a jump rope contest called Jumping for Hearts. This was a thing that students could get involved in and go raise as much money as they could. This year, we are working on helping each other through school, and I think this was a great example of how we can do that. This year, we are working on helping each other as a school, and this was a great example of how we should be all year long. If you guys are looking for a fun thing to do in October, make sure to check out the fall play. They just chose the leads to the fall play. Auditions were held September 4th and 5th. I know they also had an audition workshop to help people get prepared for auditions. The show is called You Can't Take It With You, and it will be premiering on October 25th, 26th, and 27th. Make sure to stay tuned for more details. On Thursday the 27th, make sure to head to Texas Roadhouse for a fundraiser for the all-nighter. Now the all-nighter is something for us seniors and you get to stay up all night and they have loads of fun activities for us seniors and you also get some gifts too. And I know it's supposed to be so much fun so make sure to go out and support and fundraise for that event so it can make the event even better. If you guys are interested in seeing a video about all the school events that are happening all year long, I recommend buying our documentary. You can buy it for $10. It is gonna be a video about all the school events that are happening, all the sporting events, clubs, activities, you name it. And it's gonna be a video so that whenever you look back on this year, that'll be the perfect representation of what happened. You can buy one from Reed Pearson during lunch or you can come into the publications room and we can sell one for you. I am personally very excited for this documentary. I think it's going to be a really cool thing, especially for our seniors, to be able to look back at our senior year and reminisce on all of those good times that we had. I also think it's going to be very sad. I know it's going to be an awesome video because we have great people working on it and putting it together. but. It's going to be great. I highly recommend getting one. If you guys like this, make sure to subscribe and you can also follow us on our social media at FHN Today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next Monday.